Um, hi everybody. Um, this is Vaz here from Vaz Design. You know what it is already. Chat with Vaz. Um, always powered by Vaz Designs. And um, we're just having a, a conversation with my clients as usual. Um, a new client just came in. He came to get a tattoo, and he saw my setup and decided that he wants to be part of the podcast. So I said, why not? I set up for him, and I said, let's get it running. So without further ado, let me introduce my guest here. Okay. So I go by the name Kelvin. I came from the UK. Some few days ago but i'll be going back soon and i'm a support worker in the uk and i deal with young adults with challenging behaviors and then uh, learning disabilities and then with a bit of autism traits in them mm-hmm. and yeah i saw the setup and i was like why not let me just hop on and then just do something cool cool but what what, what tribe are you i'm an away okay it doesn't really From show Keta. that Ah, for now, for me, for I was about to ask you. That's as much as I know. Please don't, don't nobody should come and ask me any question again, please. Um, okay. So the first question is basically, uh, more, what, what do you think about the setup when you walked into Vaz Designs? Like, what was your impression and your opinion about it? Yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed with the setup because you know a normal tattoo studio in Ghana is like just walking. You don't see a lot of things happening yeah and then a lot of all of this and even just entering from your front gate mm, I, appreciate I was that. like i appreciate yeah, that's, that's I like that's i like who i came to design interior so you guys get in touch yeah um another question is how do you feel about tattoos and piercings like your personal opinion since you already have tattoos like you just got your first tattoo i guess yeah and that, this you, is the first you one. already have your piercings so yeah. what's your opinion about that uh, i haven't i i didn't decide I didn't make up my mind to have a tattoo all this well because of I love my hair. I love my hair. Mm-hmm. And then shaving it was oh, it a, be- it a bit back. of, you know. <laughs> it will grow back. You know, you yeah. About that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I, I'm i not, I'm somebody who is not really locked on to boundaries. Mm-hmm. I like to explore That's and good. do a lot of stuff That's for good. myself. And then, yeah, I have, piercings and tattoos myself and i don't go against it oh. because i feel like it's it depends on your personality mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then what you believe or what you want for yourself but do you think it changes a person no it's 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 you of course if it's not part of you or it's not you mm-hmm. you won't want to have it that's that's true but in the past years that i've been doing this i've seen that um it has in a way changed some people because i have some clients of mine who are very corporate and they always wear long sleeves even when they've come here to buy jewelries and other stuff which vast designs actually provide um they decided to get their first tattoo and after they've got their first tattoo they stop wearing long sleeves instead of wearing short sleeves just to show it off <laughs> just to show it off yeah because i want to show everybody so now, so, so now in a way it changes you in a way because yeah, you become more way. confident i think I, that's what i think i think it makes people more confident to show their skin yeah no you see it's because they didn't know they have the capability to be yeah, confident true. on their own true but they feel like because they had a tattoo it gives them now a their, confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. their confidence yeah. level has been boosted up yeah. because of the tattoo but then true, it's true. within them and they didn't true, true. know how to tap into it, into it to true. get it true, yeah true, true. would you would you want to be with somebody who is like like a, a spouse would you want to be with a lady who also has tattoos or piercing because i did interview a client of mine and she said um she doesn't want to but she has tattoos and piercings from me yeah. and i think it's quite selfish but w- w- what's your opinion on that yeah it could it could be selfish though but for me in my opinion i don't think i don't is. discriminate or i don't think somebody has a tattoo so they are less of a person mm-hmm. yeah it's it's cool. it depends on where you're coming from sure. and what you guys or your family or how you grew up and mm. what you believe in mm. or what you have experienced for yourself in life that that concept where especially african parents say that oh if a lady brings a guy and the guy has tattoos locks and piercings the person is a hooligan and stuff like that yeah. what do you think about that too yeah, we have some parents mm-hmm. who still have, you know, that mentality, that mentality is, of course. But now a lot of things are, you is. know, changing and evolving. Yeah. So it's like 
you can go home with a guy with dreadlocks mm. and your parents won't be cool as far as they feel the aura mm. from that person from the other or whoever you are bringing home is genuine and then is a good one mm. or they feel yeah i can accept this person okay. hello, hello hello twist to this if you had a girl and a girl took you home and mm. then the parents said they don't like your demeanor your appearance and all that what would you do i have so, to so, find so because i have to that, find other ways no if so they to say impress them. so they say because of that they don't want you to be with their daughter what would you do <laughs> i'll still try to impress them no but there's I, always a second chance i know there is a second i'm and, just saying like in the in the yeah but you know, we are human beings i get it we are human you walk away even if they say no still you've done whatever you can you try to persuade them and all that and they still say no is the parents and it depends on my partner mm-hmm do you want us to do this or you want me to obey what your parents are saying? If you feel like we should go on with us. Okay, so so you know most Ghanaians, especially the ladies, they listen yeah. to what their parents say, who they should be with. Most. I'm not saying all, but most. But in the scenario that we are giving, let's mm-hmm. say you just you just ask her this and she says that, oh, because my parents said that they can't accept you, I can't be with you again. What would you do? For me personally, I will just step aside that and let it. and let <laughs> nature take its course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> with a matter of time, if you are mine and you have to be in my life, you come back. Yeah, you come around, and eventually <laughs> your parents will learn to accept, accept me for who I am. Hey, because yeah, I've I've been in that situation. Most before. most parents need to be open minded about these things because it doesn't change people. It is just a person's expression of who they are. It's not everybody who has locks, who has piercings and tattoos are bad people. There are some, some of them are amazing people and you will not be surprised to know that some of them are even smarter than those that wear suits and walk around every day. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, would you advise somebody who wanted, like a younger person who wanted to get tattoos and piercings, would you advise them to do it? I Yes, I could advise them to do it, but... It will depend on them. Okay. Do you really want it? I mean, of course, if... if, and if does it have... The, would the tattoo have a meaning for you? So that's the advice you give to them. Yeah, it shouldn't be just any tattoo you might mm-hmm. see later mm-hmm. after some years and then feel like... It's a, it's a it's something like, you're regretting. I, I'm regretting. No, mm-hmm. it should be something with a meaning. Mm-hmm. That whenever you see it, you always... Yeah, I had it. this because... It means something it, to you. It means something to me. I want to wake up in the morning and look and then see, okay. And it reminds you of... Yeah, of my woman. Cool, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. So, this this is just to end this part. Would you recommend Vaz Designs to anybody? Yes. 100%. 100%. Appreciate Any it. Day. Appreciate, I'll it. Sh- appreciate it. I'll surely come back and then have appreciate one when I'm appreciate back it. into Ghana <laughs> again. <laughs> appreciate it. So, we're going to move to another segment of this. Um, This is just um general lifestyle, life in quotes. Yeah. Um, Do you think... Do you think men should continue paying bride prices? When I'm saying bride price, I'm not talking about the traditional bride price where the the parents take maybe a shinap and some, let's say, maybe a thousand CDs and then maybe they say, oh, bring a slipper and a cloth just to show appreciation to the mother and the father and all that. I'm talking about the exorbitant ones that they say, oh, bring 10,000 and bring iPad, iPhone, this, this and that and that. And then you realize that the whole engagement or bride price has become a fundraising thing for a whole house or a whole mm-hmm. city. W- do you think men should continue to still pay those things? For bright price in our in our culture, mm-hmm. we can't take it away. No, I'm that, that's yeah. why that's why I separated. Yeah, them. but uh, I'm coming to that. Mm. You know, but I'm trying to mm, 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 build on mm. something. For bright price in our culture, can't be taken away True. because the parents give birth to whoever you are going into the mm-hmm. marriage with and they paid, you know, they took care of Another her person. for you to Come and get them. to see her. Mm-hmm. But, you know, some parents are just greedy and want to milk you. Extort. Yeah, yeah, that is the word. <laughs> Extortion. Yeah, they want to just, you know, okay, my daughter is going, so let me just take everything at once. And most of the people who end up in such relationships, mm. you notice... The relationship doesn't really end well like True. the way you expect it True. to end. True. It's you know, it becomes a rocky one. If if let's say you're a father and you have a kid 
like a daughter and the daughter is getting married yeah would you would you rather extort money from the person because you think you spend so much taking care of your daughter or would you rather give them your blessing and let whatever they have together let them begin their life with it i would i would i would let them do them as they want to do it mm. sit them down ask them how do you want to do it i have a mentor in my life that is my granddad mm. and you know i respected him one like on some I, i respect him a lot but he did something which made me got my attention and then i've been looking into it i have this cousin who was getting married mm. and yeah you obviously they brought bride pray they brought stuff to mm-hmm. get married to my cousin mm-hmm. but this man was like i won't take anything from you keep it in a joint account for the two of you perfect to use it perfect. and my this cousin i'm talking about graduated from mokola the law school mm. on friday mm. just this friday yeah just this friday nice, nice. and yeah both of them are married with two kids nice. okay in life and he is happy he did that for them because right. he didn't take the best he told them keep the money in a joint account so you have a family so if possible use it for your incoming kids mm-hmm. when you give birth that, that's, a man. that's a very wise man that's a very wise and then that's that's my mentor that's like, good yeah that's good a lot of people don't have that kind of perceptions and they're, they're like i know somebody who has a daughter he's he's policing the daughter so much that he's like charlie if somebody comes to marry my daughter the way i would call it I'm like, see you. If you do go marry somebody, to wait and tell you that you, you, uh, will you like uh, it? As in the person you born in daughter for, I'm then collector. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but oh, it's, it's the mentality. <laughs> but somebody will get there. You get to that bridge, and then they won't even do what they are saying. Mm, uh, well, let's see. I mean, time will only tell. Yeah. Um, w- definitely, you are. You've been. You, you've dated multiple people before, right? Yeah, a couple of. So people. you've had. A worse experience on a date before yeah so can you tell us one of your worst experience what happened that really like you will never forget that you hated it on the date that you went on okay story time <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know this <laughs> okay so um my worst mind ever you, mind you she's in the studio here well the, the 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 current girlfriend is in the studio here so please that's why he's pointing oh, that's, that's my wife though I pr- I proposed to her some few days ago. Congratulations. <laughs> so, um so yeah, I went to, I went on this date where a girl once and yeah, fine. You can you brought other people. I wanted to spend time with you. You brought other people. Is it Ghana? Yeah, it was in Ghana. Oh, my fellow guy. In, in the UK. In the UK, but the Italians. U- yeah, but no, like I'm saying in the UK so far, any girl I spoke to ever in the UK had dirty shoes and i have a oh, thing with shoes and then be dirty like that is me I have and, they, the and they say women are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm really fussy about I you know it. one or yeah. two stuffs but in the uk let me, put, let me start from the uk in the uk I, i i was trying to get to know this girl one time and we met we met in a restaurant once and then she came in i didn't look at the shoes mm. Yeah, we sat down. We had a chat. She was an intelligent girl with, you know, a wide scope of knowledge and then a scope of understanding of life. Mm, mm. But we got up to leave the place, and I noticed, <laughs> yo, you're wearing a white Air Force, and they are dirty it as looks, like it looks like brown. <laughs> like, you if you're not going to wash the air the shoes, wash your white lace. Oh, Let me know you're taking care. Of, but I just wanted to. I mean, in in, keep a, it. in a way, it actually shows a person's hygiene level yeah, we grew up we grew up in a way you come back when you're with your parents mm-hmm. and all of that you come back from school on friday saturday morning you wash, wash everything you scrub your shoes sunday let them dry iron everything we iron, yes but these people don't really no they are not bothered Charlie. sad they sad. just wear it as it goes <laughs> it's yeah sad. so the ghana experience was like yeah she came with her friends yeah i wasn't bothered But then I wanted to spend time with, with you. her. Of course, that, that but, is where the date is meant to be. But she came with a mindset of, you know, the friends were telling her, oh, let's just go and just, you know. Enjoy him. 
Look and at they that. came with that mindset of doing that. And I I just stayed. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling how it ended. <laughs> I stayed. Yeah, everything happened. Thinking I was coming to spend time with you. And it was rather about you and your friends. And I was sitting down like, ah, so do they even Notice acknowledge that idea, my yeah. presence or even I'm here or I am bringing them on a date? Mm-hmm. I don't mind. You bring your friend. It's not, it's, I don't mind. But just let me have that me time with well, you. Of course. We could talk, but it was about just mm-hmm. them two. And then I literally told them, yo, you know what? You guys can finish whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I sort the bill out. I'm man, on. you are kind. You are kind. A brother, man, you, you better walk away. Tell me you go to the bathroom or something. Leave them there. Oh, no. Nah, the yeah, that, that is... That's <laughs> that just is, rude. No, yeah, that is that is on another level, though. But Yo, you, know, you, uh, look, you look at a person, and this person just came to milk you, no, but you, you, you see, from you. You see, I, always, I also blame guys because I feel like um, if we don't put our foot down and let them know that, look, what you're doing is not cool. The fact that you pay the bill they can think they'll think that they can do it to another person and the person will pay the bill but if you got up and you left them to sort the bill out knowing that they in their mind thinking that oh he's going to sort the bill out for us they would actually learn a lesson from it don't you think they they would they would learn a lesson from such situations though but you know um I'm, I'm somebody eh? like i like to keep i like to keep my peace i get it I, get it. I like to keep my peace. So I'll rather do it and be at peace with my consciousness is the kindness, and, let, is, is the and kind let nature. It's the kind thing to do. You might meet somebody <laughs> who would rather... You know, meet street boy before. Eh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> also street pass. I didn't beg. You won't be that. I didn't beg. You know me like no. that. No. We'll I told you, you don't go do that. You, you no, don't no, go do what you, you don't get time exactly. Sir. So you are not streets. So trust me, you are not <laughs> streets. Be that you don't get time. Sir. <laughs> you are not streets. So trust me, <laughs> you are a kind person. Ah, but I mean, ladies should stop doing that because it's just not right. If somebody wants to go on a date with you, the person wants to spend time and quality time with you. That doesn't mean that you should carry a whole squad of girls and follow the person. What kind of lifestyle is that, Charlie? Anyway, um, <laughs> what a story. Oh yeah, like. Oh, yeah, I've met a couple of girls, you know, <laughs> trying to do a whole lot, but Charlie, I'm you know, I'm, I'm glad at least you found the one. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. and she's the one. <laughs> what is the one thing most people think is annoying about you? Definitely, everybody who knows yourself know that there's one thing. Why are you looking at her? Please, <laughs> let's have the conversation. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to invite her to come and sit here and tell you your piece. But no, you she can't. You she can't. Can, 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 can tell you really well. No, because you say I'm because an you know. annoying fellow. So there, there must be that one thing. I can push you to the wall just by saying something. Okay, so does it mean that you are you are um, an instigator? Kind of. Not or, fully. Or a provoker. Is that, that okay, one thing I'll that... Say, I, I won't put it as an instigator, but I can be somebody who provoke you oh, why? to see your limit or ah, how how you so can take as it. A, as a test. Yes. So when the person passes, then you stop. Yeah. I could I could okay. stop. But you see... You, you, I was, you, you keep doing it to before, put them on your edge. Before, I was somebody who would just want to get somebody or just get somebody annoyed mm. before the, the 24 hours should end mm. somebody one person should get that feeling i thought i thought you were a kind person you're no a i'm not mean, that kind you're a mean, <laughs> mean, <laughs> mean sometimes guy. i intentionally do stuff to get people on that side oh my to know God. how how much you can tolerate <laughs> yeah and she's tolerated a lot trust me if you talk to her she'll tell you <laughs> yeah i feel bad for her <laughs> right now <laughs> <laughs> good okay so um what is your opinion about um sex before marriage wow my sunday school kids are watching me hey, at the moment though. we are we are free thinkers yeah yeah, yeah. Let's, no let's but free I'm, I'm advising them <laughs> sex before marriage entails a lot um somebody might say it's good Somebody might say it's bad. For me, mm. I'm not really like 
I'm not really on any side, mm -hmm. but as far as we are into something and we have something going on, mm -hmm. because I don't, I won't just meet a random girl and then just have sex mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. I need to, get I need to, to have person. that connection, get to know you and feel like, yeah, I want, I want to share a part of me with you mm -hmm. because having sex with you is like transferring something from me to, to, to you person. and you giving me something of yours so if whatever spread back in you is not a good one mm. i'm getting that okay. and if i have a good one you are That's getting it but whatever is preventing you from being good inside will eventually come after me as well mm. because i'm trying to change you to be a good person but Still, if you feel like it's the right person, fine, it can happen. It can happen. Okay. But then it's not like just, you know, one time. No, of course, that one, that one is, is never the right thing. But let me let time. me rephrase it. I was talking about, like, I saw this thing on TikTok here yeah. okay. where a, a lady called a gentleman. No, a gentleman called a, another gentleman to help him to go and... um Yeah. yeah. Um, to, to help him to go and speak to his lady because the lady left him. Why? Because they just got married. Mm -hmm. And the lady decided to leave because apparently when they were dating for like a year, yeah. the lady never had sex with him. Never saw his junk. Never saw his goods. Never saw his motombo. <laughs> so, just after they got married and went to do the do, the lady saw the thing and she ran. She took her panty, her clothes, and ran. When they asked her, she was like, hell no. She can't handle that because that thing looks like a chair. Like, it looks like the arm of a chair. It's hanging like an elephant's trunk. Okay. His so dingling I, is dingling. Yeah, so I get, I get so, what so you're coming from. So, in terms of that, she... I get where you're coming from too. Definitely, definitely, if you, if you get to know somebody and you want to be with the person, you decide to have sex with that person. That means that you are thinking of spending a lifetime with a person right yeah but some people even though they think about spending a lifetime with a person they don't initiate in sex with them but then when sometimes they end up initiating sex after the marriage some say that he doesn't even perform well in bed like they have bad comments about it and some also are very pleased with it it's on both sides but that's why i'm asking that like what do you think in terms of those that don't get don't have sex even though they know that they'll spend a lifetime with the person and then they wait and then when they actually do have sex after they get married and then because of the sex aspect they get disappointed they are they are, they, are, they, they leave their partner because the partner he died his dingling is too small his dingling is too big he's he's a sex addict he's a, a whole lot of statements i've seen before but so what would you think about it okay yeah in from from that perspective um you need to know what you're going in for hey that's what i say yeah you need to know what you're going in for <laughs> and you, you know what you like or what you want yeah. so you should know what you're going in for so yeah you need to test and, the and, waters. and that is only if you actually decide to spend a lifetime with a person don't go and use anybody's child or anybody's son or anybody's daughter for your mismatch games and your play around games like you're playing football <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh jeez. okay so um what what's your opinion about um opposite sex <laughs> opposite sex best friends i don't know if you get what i mean or should i break it down no don't break you, it you, down. you get what i, I mean get, I get what the way the way you snare that i kind of i kind of feel like there's there's something to it yeah tell us tell us no I've exper <laughs> <laughs> life experiences yeah i've experienced i've experienced a girl who had i was dating before but had a male bestie and they were like oh my bestie my bestie you know i talk okay best friends best you, friend. you give a better further doubt yeah but you know i'm a guy mm -hmm. you eventually you find know. out okay you have a best friend fine and then later if you are not available the bestie is available mm -hmm. to do something. Yeah, but, you know, it depends on 
um how do i put it it depends on the individual the individual and how the boundaries are set the boundaries are set and how they like uh, how they relate with a person mm. when you are there there are a lot of things that could go on and then you could see those red flags mm-hmm. but yeah for me as a guy i know if you tell me you are my bestie you want to chop me because the thing is one, one thing i've realized is I, I i told somebody the same thing that this is your best friend this is your best friend are you sure that you are not get, catching feelings for oh, him or doing, he's doing. catching feelings for they you are doing. a lot of women actually have easy relationship like friendship with males but here's the thing most of them go into friendship with males because they like the company you know men to women are no more like how women are to women yeah like you get me but then they forget that when your boyfriend is 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 not being there for you and then you are spending more time with your best friend who is a male and then you are your 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 boyf- your, your boyfriend is not communicating with you and you're communicating more with your friend you, you create you create a connection between the two of you a bond between the two that the guy in turn begins to grow feelings for you even when you are not getting feelings for him so yeah. at the end of the day it's like you the female is misleading the guy or vice versa and then one person will have feelings for the other and then it becomes a problem so in the first place don't keep it i mean that, that's what i think i think that you shouldn't keep it you shouldn't entertain it you you if you have acquaintances it's different a lot of people use words by heart. Friends, uh, this, that. They, they, they tell their friends that they love them and stuff, which is opposite sex. You don't do that. Don't ever do that. But then people think it's okay to do that. Yeah. But they... <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like my mama telling me, oh, wait, I want to go and get a massage. And okay, fine. You want to get a massage. I'm not bothered. But is it a man doing the massage or is a female doing the massage? And is a male. I'm like, no, I don't want it. Hey, then that one she has to listen to you because it's and she you the man. Yeah, she hasn't got it. But you know, women, lady. women are uh uh like fragile to the point that yeah, you might you might be going through something with her at the moment, mm. and then that friend will be trying to console mm-hmm. and do all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was how that okay, that was how I bet my, my girl we were friends. Ah we became best friends ah. and then she became my girlfriend. So you fell into that trap of best friends. Best I suggested friend. a best friend because I wanted to go into a relationship with her. So that means that most guys who actually want to go into best friends with ladies actually want have the intention. More. I keep saying this to women, and women keep they fighting with me on they this. Oh my god, I'm so they glad somebody's more. saying it. They and he's more. a living testimony of it. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's how it, the whole thing happened. Yo, from friends to bestie. Yeah, we talk every morning, afternoon, evening, everything. <laughs> and then hey, hey. <laughs> I'm glad you somebody has said it here. <laughs> okay, so this is another question. Um, if you had the opportunity to reincarnate, mm-hmm. would you want to be a black person? Would you want to still be a Ghanaian? Or would you would you want to, and if you had the opportunity to live like be reincarnated anywhere around the world, where would you be reincarnated at? So would you want to be black? Would you want to be Ghanaian? And which part of the world would you want to be at? I would like I'll yeah reincarnation. That's a good point. Though. But okay, yeah, I'll still like to be black. Okay, that's me. I've worked with a lot of white folks, and they are not what a lot of us think they are. Of course, yeah, I'll still want to be black, and always will want to be in Africa, but would always want to live in Europe. You can't. I want to be an African. You can't have reincarnation. Come to Africa, fine. Yeah, Africa where? Africa where? That is which, the which, problem. Which one of Af- which part that of Africa? Is, that is the problem. <laughs> now the way things are going here now. You don't want to be Ghanaian. No. <laughs> Everybody, they run away. Right, right, right now, <laughs> even in their reincarnation, <laughs> right now, self, I don't be Ghanaian. Right now, I'll be, I'll be a refugee where a day, a day way to. From some country to just claim you, claim me as DS. 
<laughs> yeah, that would be the thing. But cool, yeah, cool, still cool. proudly Ghanaian though. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm always going to be Ghanaian. Though. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, This is the last question for this segment. Um, What is the most expensive thing you own and how much? The most expensive thing I own and how much? The most expensive thing I own is hair, but not how much though. But if you want to add, if it's if hair, you want to add how you can put a price to it. Yeah, if you want to you add how much, you can put a price to. Wow, let me see. What? There are a lot of stuff. Yeah, back like back. And so just home, tell us that is expensive though. Just tell us one that is the most expensive that comes into your head. Um. A few moments later. Okay, at the moment, could, at the moment, it could be. I asked somebody this, and, and they said the the most expensive thing they own is a gata toffee. Oh, uh, if I don't serve it, <laughs> <laughs> if I don't serve it. Okay, so the most most expensive thing I own now is a three, three bedroom. Fantastic in the UK. No. In, oh, in Ghana, yeah, that, that, that's, yeah, but it's that, been that's an investment. Out. That's an investment. That's, yeah. that's and it awesome. Was, it wasn't like I didn't sell it though, but I didn't buy it. Mm. It was a, a family inheritance oh, that was given to me from my still, dad when it's he still passed. Yours. It's still yours. Yeah, it's and yours. that is hey. you putting a price tag on it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's priceless, basically. Yeah, because mm, mm, my mm, OG mm. was was my guy. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. So we're going into the, the games section. So the games, um, you have to answer at least five questions out of the lot. Stop looking. <laughs> You're trying to take a peek. <laughs> yeah. You have to answer five questions out of the lot and you get to win a center candle from Vaz Designs. Oh, wow. Okay. Made by myself. Okay, ho- hopefully I could I could get something. It's all fun and games, so yeah, well, don't, you know, worry, don't worry so much about it. Online questions and all the <laughs> stuff. You, man. you go feel you go feel this game yourself. You might know the answer later. We are, or, we are learning, yeah, so. but yeah, but still, yeah, I'm a okay. smart dude, so I should I okay. should use my head around it. Okay, so let's let's let's. Um, I'm sure you have friends, right? Yeah. So, what is um? What is a group of friends called? A group of friends? Yes. Okay. So, my group of friends, I call them a gang. No, that's your your word or phrase for them. Yeah. But in the English language, a group of friends is called dot, 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 dot. Acquaintances? No, acquaintances is like trying no, to say that I'm having, I have biz- my, most of my friends I have I know, get it but stuff going with but, them no it's not that okay so I want a general English yes a group okay. of friends is called something huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't get it then you, we, 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 we learn from it why are you asking <laughs> so asking <laughs> <laughs> um, <It's really> <laughs> <laughs> a group of friends called yes what is a group of friends called they're friends. No. A group. A group of friends is called something. Trust you. Let's just, <laughs> let's just, how many questions do you say I have to answer? Five. Five. Out of 19, 18. So I'm giving you opportunity to answer a lot. Okay. So a group of friends. You need to, no, just enlighten me on that. Okay. So it's lost. called a circle of friends. Circle. Oh, wow. Your group is in a circle. Circle. Trust, trust me. <laughs> I know, I know that. That's a circle. Yeah, like my gang is a circle. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you see, you now you see what I told you. It's not <laughs> fun. Say my it's head not, no, it's not funny games. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so uh, repeat after me. Red, yellow, green. What is the color of grass? Red, yellow, green. What is the color of grass? Is that, is that the answer? No, like. It says to repeat after you. Yeah, repeat after me. Red, yellow, green. What's the color of grass? Obviously, red, yellow, green. What's the color of grass? You said I should repeat after you. Yeah. Yeah, I've repeated after you. Yeah, but you still got it wrong. Gra- no, listen. Grass is green, but the statement is repeat after me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You, I, 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 I get that you've, you've gotten that. So repeat after me then. Red, yellow, green. No, it's still wrong. What's the color of grass? It's green. 
<laughs> no, you still got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to twist your mind a bit. <laughs> no, no, listen. You are, you are there. You are there, but you are not getting it properly. <laughs> the question is, red, yellow, green. What's the color of grass? Repeat after me. Repeat after me is the question. So repeat after me. No, you, you, you are getting like 80% of it, but you are not finishing it. <laughs> These questions are to mess up with your mind. That's why. <laughs> Repeat after me, red, yellow, green. What's yo, my G, my G, yo. <laughs> he finally got this, at least after he thought <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah. That's yeah. A, a lot yeah. of, it. It sways a lot of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> that a lot. So yeah, I have to take my time. Okay, so how do you find the area of a triangle? <laughs> area of a triangle. Yeah. Hey. Not not the. Okay, let me just help okay, you. Okay, so a circle, a spiral, square. Uh, so we're, we're not talking about the 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 mathematical equation of oh, a triangle. Okay. Hey, so how do you find one. the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle mm-hmm. is in the middle. But if you're if, <laughs> if it's in the middle, you can't find the area of it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> area of a triangle. How do you find the area of a triangle? Two thousand years later. In terms of mathematics, or no, as I already said, not mathematics. In terms of the area of a triangle, Bermuda triangle. I didn't say Bermuda triangle. I said triangle. A triangle is triangle. <laughs> Okay, so do, do your hand in the shape of a triangle and then you find the area of that triangle. So triangle like this. Mm-hmm. Like it should be like this. Mm-hmm. So the area. Mm-hmm. I'm giving you too much time to think about it. I think you'll get it because you, 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 you are taking too much time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just say you don't know. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it. No, and I'm lost. It's, I'm the, three, like... it's the three corners. <laughs> I'll in my head not die. You not die. We not I say not not die. die. Say, I was thinking about mathematics. I be you know say maths. So uh, two plus two is four. Okay. So touch your toes and spell run R U N fast. So touch your toes and then spell it. I'm supposed to do it. Yeah. So to just touch your toes and then and then spell spell it you just lift your leg up and just touch it yeah are you in fast are you in fast are you in fast are you in fast <laughs> did you hear yourself <laughs> are you in the are you in 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 are you in, in. Oh. are you in do you get it i am i am not <laughs> in <laughs> Are you in? Do you get it? Yeah. Do so. No, do you get what I mean? <laughs> are you in? Yeah. Are you in? Ah, you got that one. Too. You got three. In. <laughs> okay. So that's how many questions you got right? Two, right? Yeah, two. Yeah, two. So far. Cool, cool. I, I got a triangle wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what's a group of wolves called? A group of wolves. Group of wolves. Wolves, yeah. Wow. Is it a pack? You're right. First thing that came right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. So you got three right. Um, how do you call it? Um, pronounce what I'm about to spell. Okay. F A T. Fat. H E R. H E R. Yeah. Hey. Put it together and pronounce it. Feather. Pronounce it again. Feather. Okay, so F A T is what? Fat. H E R is what? Hair. <laughs> Fat hair. Feather. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh, stop that. No, wait, uh, ah, F- I, I don't like that too. You're not the one here. <laughs> no, so F A T is father. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you that one because Father. I'm not gonna give you that one because somebody helped you here. Because no 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 you didn't say that no. I had to the fact that she actually made a sound made your mind go back to it. <laughs> I had to, you know, put everything together. Yeah, but father. you get it? It's yeah. supposed to confuse you. Yeah. Oh no, people this Charlie, the guy gets me. Gets me. Yeah. Okay. Tali, the hair no was the wake up call. Yeah, yeah, father put, put it together like that. Okay, so a Ghanaian Rastaman mm-hmm. and a Frenchman. 
Mm-hmm. What do they have in common? A Ghanaian Rasta man. Yes. And, and a, a French, French man. man. Yes. What do they have in common? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Stop asking. <laughs> They all have man, man, no Rasta that's... man, French man. <laughs> that's that's a good one, but no. <laughs> he said man, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh wow. A Ghanaian Rasta man. Mm-hmm. And a French man or a French person. Mm-hmm. What do they have in common? Trust me, if I think fine, you I'll get block it. my head. <laughs> uh, a Ghanaian Rasta man and a French man. What do they have in common? I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're asking me. <laughs> uh, trying to, trying to, trying to think about it. Eh? Is really no. What no? What would a Rasta man and a French? So you don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, so it's we. Oh yeah, we Rasta, a Rasta man, man and then friends. And then yes, man, we. we. Oh wow, that's the thing they have in common. <laughs> wow, that's telling my head. My head. I was thinking. I was. You know, I was just think. I was to think inside the box. You were thinking, I was outside, thinking outside, outside the box. <laughs> wow, okay, another question. Um, what comes twice in a week? Think about it all. <laughs> what comes twice in a week mm-hmm. and once in a year? Twice in a week. Twice in a week and once in a year. Stop, stop. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sanction you for trying to help him out. Still do that. I've heard this before. So and I'm what? trying to <laughs> twice in a week. <laughs> wow. I've heard this before. <laughs> I've heard this before and I know this answer. <laughs> uh, what comes twice in a week? Hey. A week, twice. Twice in a week and once in a year. 2,000 years later. Hey, guy. This thing there is like, now I'm in the, I'm in the corner, I'm in the hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> twice in a week once in a year don't think too far meanwhile two hours later uh, <laughs> no because his eyes keeps coming here i don't like that so don't come and help him look look over there <laughs> a circle a circle mm-hmm. even she I, i'm hearing the hair <laughs> hey, don't, don't look at her uh, uh, yeah. so, no so is that Okay, no, <laughs> no, I will not accept it. She <laughs> helped you out. I will yeah, not yeah, accept it. I yeah, will no, 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 yeah. no, 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 yes. no, 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 I will not accept it. In a week. I will not. A week. No, 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 listen, let me explain. No, 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 no. Twice in a week. Twice in a week. Twice in a week is week. No, no, no. The fact that she helped you, you didn't get it right. One, you said I told I'm you a lot about it. I'm glad. You, I'm explaining. I'm glad she helped you today. Yeah, well, let me explain. She didn't tell me. Let me explain. She did. I heard her. No, no, no. I heard her say she E. Said circle. Oh, please. She said E. She said circle. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. W E E K, and then yeah. Oh wow. The e one, is... Yeah, one E. <laughs> right. Okay, so what is what does um GDP mean? Eh. Please, don't, 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 don't come and help you. <laughs> <laughs> what does the abbreviation GDP means? <laughs> I know this. I know. Trust me. It's not like hey, I don't know. Hey, hey, I know. Hey, I know. Hey. <laughs> stop, stop trying to help. <laughs> but you know I can just tell Siri to show me. I know, but you are not asking Siri. You are not asking anybody for help. We are all learning. Sometimes we yeah. forget things, so we we all learn from it. Oh wow! Hey, hey, Charlie, somebody go watch this. You know, talks in my head. Oh no, maybe that person said you don't know. GDP. Oh. Huh. 
Hey, wow. Going once. I, I'm, I'm going to give you timer now because she's helping you. Hey, going once. Going twice. <laughs> going three times. Wow. It's done. No, I'm not taking my phone. I'm just. It's done. You don't know. You don't know. Let's let's assume you don't know. Oh. It's gross domestic product. <laughs> That's just a gross domestic I product. I remember the domestic product, but the G. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you were okay. Saying. It's okay. So it's fine. Um, I've got five. No, you got four. Okay. So um, another question is okay. So this one, if you are going to act it out. Mm -hmm. So sit down and get yourself prepared to act this thing out. Okay. So <clears throat> close your eyes and then just imagine. Ooh. Just imagine that you are blind. Yeah. Like, are you putting yourself in the in the in the situation? Mm? Uh -huh. Just imagine you are blind. Okay. And you want to ask for water. How would you ask? How how would you act it? But if a blind person can just ask for water. All right. <laughs> You should see some of the other videos. Somebody was acting it. <laughs> it was so hilarious. They're not dumb. <laughs> no. They're not dumb. So a black person can just ask for water. Act. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Got... Do you want us to continue with the questions? It's fun, right? Hey, hey, we, 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 we're learning something new. Okay, so um, what's the largest mammal on earth? Largest mammal? Yeah. Huh. Mammal. It's an elephant, mama. I don't know. Are you asking me? <laughs> Stop that. I'm warning you. I have eyes at the back. I can sense her. <laughs> oh, no. She's not even minding. No, no. I'm trying to I, get her I, for I, answer. I, I, but I, don't I, mind I, me. Please. <laughs> Allow him to think. Allow him to be a man of his own. Eh? <laughs> um. 2,000 years later. We want... A, mo a mama. Go eat twice. The largest mama. Twice. Oh, I know mama. the fastest animal. Gone. I know the fastest <laughs> that animal. The question. <laughs> okay, the, uh, an elephant. No, whale. Hippo. Is he come to say hippopotamus? <laughs> <laughs> Rhino, rather. <laughs> I never thought of whale. <laughs> Yeah, bonsu. You know any bonsu? So you learn wow. something new. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So um. Still. A group of sailors is mm -hmm. called what? They are sailors. No, they are not. They can't, they no, can't be a group they of are pirate not pirate. sailors. They are not pirates. <laughs> okay, not pirates. a group of pirates are called what? <laughs> group of pirates are called If what? I give you too much time, she will help you out. I don't, I don't like I'm not it. even looking at her again. <laughs> because she's not helping. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. No. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. No, I don't. You, yeah. don't, you don't know. A group of sailors. Seamen. No, three. You don't know. Crew. <laughs> crew. A crew of... Like, a, a, a group of sailors are known as crew. Yeah. Yeah, crew. Okay. Crew. Yeah. Crew on both. Crew <laughs> chief. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Seamen. It's not seamen. It's Ghanaian who said We say that seamen, seamen. That's not it. <laughs> Okay, so a group of musicians is known as what? A group of musicians? Yes. They're artists. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <get it. laughs> ah, group of musicians. They're musicians. No. How can a group of musicians be called musicians? A band. Very well, very well, very well. Fantastic. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay. <laughs> a group of fishes are called what? A group, group of fishes. Fishes. Yeah. A school of fish. Perfect, perfect. If you smart guy, watch out. <laughs> He's thinking too outside the box. <laughs> okay, so what aspect of a computer can we see but not touch? What aspect of the computer can we see? Yeah, but not touch. The images. The images. Like the software. Maji. The, you know, the guy, the guy is shark. <laughs> when he said pictures of that, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so 
Which country invented ice cream? Two thousand years later. Is it French? No. Just like ice the, cream. Just like the misconception, people think that French fries were actually invented by the French. It wasn't. <laughs> wow, ice cream. Yes. Trust me, I've not done any research about this before. But ice cream was it the English? No. Or the sweet? No. Wow. Going once. Eh. Going twice. Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Italians. No. See, no, 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 no. Look, look, no. Look, at, look at the live. Look, look no, at No, it's not. You guys, <laughs> stop helping. Stop helping. <laughs> no, it's not Italian. It's the Chinese. Chinese? Yeah, the Chinese invented ice cream. Oh, okay. Before other nations reinvented it and all that. <laughs> okay, so there's another question. Um, Nothing starts with N and ends with G. Nothing starts with N and ends with G. Yeah. Nag. No, I'm telling you, nothing starts with N and ends with G. Okay. So, what then starts with N and ends with G? Energy. <laughs> Energy starts with E. <laughs> energy <laughs> it's actually in the questions nothing nothing yes nothing yeah and, and, oh wow nothing starts with n it ends with g tell my people when i know they help you and i for the right to the team make they give ah. okay so what's the um no, I don't want to even say that crap because it's for ladies. <laughs> um, what's the the female name? The female name of a cat. Just like how a pussy. Are you sure? Pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> because the baby is a kitten, so obviously a pussy cat. <laughs> so what is the baby? <laughs> okay, now you know that one, but just like how dogs, the females are called bitches. bitches yeah, there's a name for cats that the female is called. If you know, please put it in the comment section. Yeah, you guys, trust me. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave it up. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> okay, what's the first man to walk on the moon? First man, yes, I allegedly. Thought, allegedly, I thought they said it was a, it was a dog. It was a dog to walk on the moon? Yeah. No, no. Even if it was a dog, crap, wow, the first man to walk on the moon, allegedly, I'm saying allegedly because there's a conspiracy about it because the, the people who actually said this. You want the name? It, no, like, if you know the name. No, I don't remember the name. Okay. Trust me, but first man to walk on the moon was an American. Okay. Yeah. Because I've forgotten the name. Okay, so a female cat is a queen. Why is somebody trying to help you here? Please stop helping. <laughs> that question has passed. <laughs> that, uh, and it's not a queen. <laughs> it's not a queen. Is it, are we talking about king and queen here? <laughs> you see, uh, Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk on yeah, the moon. Yeah, but then they interviewed Neil Armstrong and he said it never happened. That's why I said allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, because so allegedly it was Neil Armstrong. It wasn't. So who was it then? The cameraman. Who took the video? Exactly. <laughs> a lot of people don't think about him. A lot of people don't think about yeah. that person because if no, but they, could, they could set a camera and then he would just walk in front of so the camera. So who set it up is the person who was the first person to walk on the moon for yeah. him to come out of that's the true. That's so, true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what is the silent letter in welcome? Oh. E, sorry. E. <laughs> E. Ah, a moment, I was like, hey, but you just had me say, welcome. <laughs> e, e. That's right, that's e. right, that's right. <laughs> okay, so, um, what is the difference between H2O and water? They're the same. My man, my man. <laughs> okay, a sun, the sun is known as a star or not? The sun? Yes. No, it's not a star. Then, what is a star? The star, wow. I know there are two different things. 
the sun is different from the star. But the star is always there. When the sun comes up, we don't see the stars. <laughs> guys, when the moon comes up. <laughs> you guys, you guys say help about it. We see the stars. When is that? But that's actually wrong. That's star, actually wrong. <laughs> so the, you know, it's, the stars are the other galaxies or the other planets? Every, every star is every, a sun. Wow. Every star yeah. is a sun. Because every planet has a star. Yes. Their own. S- not, not every planet. Every um, solar system has a star. And their star is their sun. Okay. Yeah. So they are the same. They are the same. Yeah, so, so, uh, no, so you've learned something today. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so I love school chairs, so, yeah. <laughs> so um um what what is our galaxy called allegedly? Earth. Our galaxy is called Earth. Our people, galaxy people he said our what galaxy, galaxy is called Earth. <laughs> <laughs> what so is our planet our, our galaxy, the plan the galaxy that our planet is in, what is it called? Isn't or or the, the 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 galaxy that our solar system is in. What is it called? Ah, I was about to say solar system. <laughs> 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 so, what is the Milky Way? <laughs> what is the Milky Way? Yeah. Are you asking or are you telling me? Which one is? I'm I'm confused right now. <laughs> oh no! So let's. See. What is our galaxy called? Yes. Wow. My God, you are smart too. What the Bob is saying, you would say the answer in the same thing you'd be that like, is you like know. <laughs> there. What is our galaxy called? Can you rephrase the question in another Okay? Um our solar system yeah. is located in the huh. I don't put the what to me actually. <laughs> Do you give up? Yeah, I give up on that. You said it, Milky Way. Milky you were Way. asking me, but you weren't saying that as a question, as an answer. <laughs> oh God! Okay, we've got like a few questions more than we are done. <laughs> okay, so um, what is the R and B in the R and B? What does it mean in music? Like R and B. Is it reggae and blue? My man, my man, my man. <laughs> Okay, the last, last, last question. Yeah. What is the capital of Africa? Capital of Africa? Yes. Wow. Did Africa have a capital? I'm asking. Are, are, are you asking me too? <laughs> Africa. Yes. What is the capital of Africa? Is, is this South Africa? Hey. No, I'm saying is this South Africa. Hey, hey, the... hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I had to hear an A behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and the A, the A. Who said A? Take your time. Beefy. <laughs> okay. So, the capital of Africa. Yes. 2,000 years later. Wow. Just give up and let's tell you. So that we all learn. We all learn. Everybody will be learning here. <laughs> capital of Africa. Yeah, the capital of Africa. Well, let's only they laugh me for the... <laughs> Madu. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think I remember. Africa is a continent; it's a continent on its own. So there's no capital. So is that your final answer? That's my final answer. So you knew it. So why were you d- d- dulling, dealing about <laughs> the <this> place? <laughs> Say South Africa. <laughs> okay, yo, yeah, people, we are done with the questions and everything. So, um, um, would you like to put out your social handles there? Your your TikTok handles, your if you have a YouTube page and other stuff, and then if you have any plans and businesses that you are trying to do and stuff like that, would you like to put it out there so that people can know and then follow you back and stuff like that? Um. Okay. So, my social media handles. If you go to Facebook, it's Adam Van Kelvin. Snapchat Van underscore Kelvin underscore GH, and then TikTok is Son of the Soil. Yeah, because I'm the son of the soil. Yeah. Which which when he reincarnates, he doesn't want to come back to the soil. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> yeah. And I have I have you know stuff in the the pipeline. In the pipeline, I'm trying to, you know, try to 
put it straight and then sort it out mm, first mm. before I could just put out there. anything out there. The the but NGO you were talking about, would you would you want to put your handles out so that people can follow them and see what they're also doing? Uh wow, I forgot. Okay, don't worry. I'll I'll, I'll could, get it from him. Yeah, then I I'll could, put it out there just, for you guys. Yeah. I could just get it because they they invited me and my sister into Ghana okay. to do the seminar for them in Kumasi. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah, to talk to teachers who have um, kids. You know, teachers have kids and then they see a in Nitiawu and all of that. But maybe it's because of a learning disability. disability. Yeah, so cool. we just had to cool. talk to them and then tell them how to handle, to handle such kids. That's cool. Yeah, That's cool. so... So it's good. It's a humanitarian thing you are doing anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. um, did you have fun? Yeah, well, yeah. Enjoyed yourself. Yeah, I see. Say yeah for real. <laughs> we should all learn. Anyway, um, as usual, my name is Vas. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, hopefully, I'll have a new person here another time on that day, and then we can have another conversation with the person. Please do follow on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everywhere at Vas Designs. This program is actually powered by Vas Designs. So. Chat with Vaz is just a conversation with other people. Thank you for following and we'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. <laughs>